Let's go find those kids. Get them out of here. Sam? No, no. I don't think I'm going anywhere. What? What are you talking about? There's some in my, some in my back. Oh, it feels like it's right through me. They went back to the roots, full focus on the boys, the smaller story, the gritty monster hunt, vampires for the first time in a long time actually felt scary, intimidating, and eventually that's what got in Dean. A lot of people criticized Dean's death for being too simple, he took out God but he got killed by simple vamps, but what people don't get is that since Chuck is not writing the boys stories anymore. They don't have plot armor, so it's very normal to die in a normal accident, in a normal hunt. Just like everyday people and everyday hunters whose Chuck is not favoriting. So props to Andrew Debb and Bobby Singer to going back to the roots, focusing on the bros 100%. Small story, contained, beautiful and strong story. You did a great job and that's easily your best episode ever. Uh, Oxan. Uh, hello, Jared. How did you prepare to shoot Dean's death? It must have been very hard and emotional. You were brilliant. Love from France. Uh, merci. I, I, I'm sure there's a better way to say it. It's not Oxan. I'm sure it's Oxan. Uh, Oxan. That wasn't me farting, by the way. This was my chair. Um, how did you prepare to shoot Dean's death? How could you possibly prepare to shoot Dean's death? Uh, I... You know, we shot that scene in September um, and I had been reading it. I had known about that since, you know, June or July of 2019. And I've been reading that scene since, um, since February, you know, cause we were supposed to shoot in March, March, April. Uh, and so I had a lot of time to kind of deal with it. And a lot of what that scene was, even just watching it, that wasn't acting, you know, like I, I knew the lines left, right and center. I could have done them in my sleep. I might have I asked Genevieve. I mean, I, I may have been saying them in my sleep. I knew all the dialogue. I knew the blocking. I knew where we were. Um, but it was just most of the time on set uh, was spent like trying not to cry, you know. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I can't do this alone. Yes, you can. Well, I don't want to. Uh, just give me, just give me a minute. Yeah. 
Um, all right, I'll call for help. I'll get the first aid kit. Sam, Sam, Sam. Stay, stay with me. Can you stay with me, please? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, right. All right, listen to me. Um, you get those boys and you get them someplace safe, all right? Dean, we are going to get them somewhere safe. No. You knew it was always going to end like this for me. It was supposed to end like this, right? I mean, look at us. Saving people, hunting things. It's what we do. No, no, stop. Okay, just, just stop. Um, and the way they, the, so that barn scene, there was a huge fight scene. Um, and I know it only lasted, whatever, 30 seconds on camera, but it was a massive, massive fight scene. We actually shot in that barn for three days. We shot it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, like the first week of September, whatever that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday was. And um, Bob, uh, you know, Bob's done this for a long, long time. And he was intelligent enough to go like, hey, we're gonna shoot all the walking into the barn stuff, all of the fight stuff. And then we're gonna dedicate one day to once Dean has been impaled. Because if you try and go and do a fight scene for six hours and then get into the super emotional stuff, like good luck. Like you're gonna you're gonna be, you know, you're gonna feel like you're actually dying. Um, and so he let us do it on that Friday, the Friday before we wrapped. Um, it was really difficult to prepare. I just tried to read it over and over again. And I think, and this sounds really weird, but I tried to read it so much that I got bored. Like I wanted to get bored with it. And that sounds really strange. But it was so emotional to me. Every time I read the scene, I cried. Literally, every time I read the scene, I'd be on my treadmill and my kids would come in and be like, Dad, Dad, breakfast is ready. I'd be like, ah. um, <laughs> uh, And so I, that was Jared crying. And I, I didn't want Jared, I didn't want Jared's emotions to get in the way of Sam's journey and of Supernatural's story. And so I tried to just go through it over and over and over again. And uh, it was really, it was a difficult scene. It's still difficult to watch. And I've watched like this morning, I woke up early cause I couldn't sleep. And I was watching a few like reaction videos and just hearing the scene in the background of the reaction video, I was sort of uh, dusting away tears. Um, okay, thank you. Hey, I'm not leaving you. I'm gonna be with you right here. Every day, every day you're out there and you're, you're living and you're fighting because you, you always keep fighting. You hear me? I'll be there every step. I love you so much. My baby. Okay. You tell me. 
It's okay. It's okay. No doubt, endings are hard, but then again, nothing ever really ends, does it? We won't be gone long, I promise. It came to the point of like, okay, I think this is the right time. Like, I, it was a, it's a weird decision. And then, I'm gonna sell them out. <laughs> when Jensen got to Vancouver two weeks ago, I have a text message from him, he's like, man, He's been back in Vancouver. I feel like we could do two more years. And I was like, let's talk, man. Like, I <laughs> to all the SBN family out there, thank you so much for uh, taking this journey with us for 15 years. Uh, we love you, and we won't be gone long, I promise. Thanks for watching Wayward Winchester. Subscribe for more awesome Wayward content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick moments. Peace.